But then he has something like the music, which I feel like isn't a really a matter of oh, was it good at the time, and something we can look at nearly objectively. The overworld theme, so to speak, is a literal classic, and instantly recognizable and nostalgic for millions of people. And in my opinion, the Dire Dire Doc song is one of the best pieces of music ever written. The issue is, beyond that, there's not a lot that's left. You have this secret area type of music, that ends up getting reused in like 10 levels, some lava and snow music, which is still good, and not much else. And the two songs I praised heavily get reused in spades throughout the game. To a degree, that's okay. These songs never get old, they're all phenomenal and classics, but I can't help but feel they sort of slacked a bit in this aspect. I feel like unique tracks for every stage would have helped quite a bit with differentiating the snow levels a bit, for example, or the grass levels, and even the water levels, and it kind of contributes to them feeling like they should have just been part of one bigger package. Just based on my speculation, my guess is for why there's very few music tracks in this game boils down to two theories. This game is on the N64 for one, which used cartridges, and that meant the space for music and video was probably sparse. And it's also probably just because Super Mario 64 was rushed out the door to meet a deadline because people would either have this or Pilot Wing 64 at launch, and I'm pretty sure people wanted to play this instead. The lack of music variety, though, is a flaw that I barely barely am able to look past just because the songs that are here are absolute legendary classics. Whether they were made or not knowing they'd be carrying an entire 20 hour adventure, I'm not sure, but Koji Kondo proved he was up for the task regardless.